I'm going to show you how to create private categories within WordPress, which only logged in users of the correct role can see. This is a lesser known feature of our password protected categories WordPress plugin, as well as password protecting categories. It has a private categories option, which works um, just for logged in users so that normal guest users can't see that this content even exists. Whereas logged in users of the correct role can see the hidden content. It's very similar to private WordPress pages and posts, um, but it adds that feature to your categories. So that by simply password, sorry, by simply making a category private, all the content, all the posts, pages, whatever within that category will automatically be private too. So before you follow the steps in this tutorial, you need to get the password protected categories plugin, install it on your website and activate your license key. And once you've done that, the plugin will be fully working and you can use it to make private various categories and it, their content. That might be post categories. It might, if you're using easy digital downloads or another e-commerce plugin, it might be download categories. Um, it's worth noting, if you want to do this with WooCommerce, we do have a dedicated plugin, WooCommerce password protected categories, but um, our generic plugin will work with WooCommerce too. You can create private portfolio categories. You might have custom post types for FAQs, testimonials, something like that. All of those types of categories you can use to create private categories with this plugin. So let's do it with posts on for this example. We're going to go to posts and categories. And as you can see, I've already previously created some public categories for my blog and a password protected category, which is not what we're covering today. If you want to password protect categories, we have other videos on how to do that, or you can look at our knowledge base. But now we're going to create a private category. And so we can call it whatever we want, uh, add a description if your theme shows the description, that's all standard WordPress stuff. But what is different is the visibility section, which has been added by the password protected categories plugin. To create a private category, you want to tick private and you simply add new category. And you will see that it has created the private category and it's made it private. Now that will only appear to logged in users depending on their role. So by default, that is going to be logged in administrators and editors um, because they're standard WordPress user roles, whereas your subscribers, contributors, authors would not be able to see that content. However, you can use the a plugin such as user role editor, or if you know how to modify user roles yourself, then you can just do it that way. Um, you can use a plugin like that to change which user roles have access to the private content. And so, for example, you could might want to make your subscribers, editors, authors, um, contributors, whatever, have access to private content. Or you might want to create custom user roles and give them access to the private content. So if you modify your user roles in WordPress, then you can give those access. So let's now put some posts within the private category and then I'll show you how it works in action. So I'm just going to change some of my posts to put them within the private category. And because they're a part of a private category, they will be made private, even though I haven't actually marked the post as private directly. Simply putting them in a private category is all that's needed. And let's do that one as well. Right, so we've got two posts. So let's go back to the category page and I'm gonna view it at the moment, I'm logged in as an administrator, so I should be able to see the content of this category. So I'm gonna click view, and as you can see, the two posts I just put in the category are showing, and that's because I'm logged in as an administrator. Now I'm going to go to a different browser tab, and I'm going to do, go to the same category page, and um, sorry, that's because my site is password protected, that doesn't apply to you. So I'll just enter the password protection and it says page not found. So because I have accessed the private category when I am not logged into the website or I could be the wrong user role, it, it acts as if the page doesn't even exist. 
it literally looks like it's not there and that makes it very very private for you because the public search engines etc cannot see that your private content exists at all so it doesn't even give you any information like that so then that's how you do it the logged in users can see your private category like this and users of the wrong role or non users, so guest users, um, can see the usual 404 error because it's like it doesn't exist at all. A couple of notes on how to use private categories um, in the structure of your website because obviously you don't want people getting 404 pages. Don't add any sort of normal plain text links to your private categories because guests will see the error page, which isn't very professional. But if you want to add private categories or posts directly to your navigation menu, then that will work because they will only appear for people with access to that content. So if you add the link to this private category to your menu, then logged out users will not be able to see the link and logged in users with the right privileges will be able to see it. So that's a nice way to allow pri make private content easily accessible to people without putting off guest users. I hope that was useful. You, um, you can use our knowledge base if you need any further information about how to use the plugin. And thanks for watching.